The fourth courier set right here in Poland in 1992, a couple of years after the fall of communism throughout Eastern Europe, and only four months after the fall or breakup of the Soviet Union on the country's eastern border. That border had been tightly controlled for many years, but suddenly it became open and there was a lot of smuggling going in both directions. Most of that smuggling was in goods like stolen cars, but there was a fear it could become a smuggling route for Russian weapons, including nuclear weapons, to terrorists anywhere in the world. There is an incident in the book that suggests that's exactly what is happening. During an autopsy of one of the victims, radiation is discovered on his hands. Immediately the case becomes an international incident because it's clear there is a nuclear smuggling operation underway. The new Solidarity government, which had no experience in these kind of matters, asks for international help. And the United States responds by sending an FBI special agent to assist in the investigation. Most people don't realize that the FBI participates in crucial criminal cases around the world. I lived here in 1990 to 1992 in the middle of this big transition, which was an upheaval in people's lives in every way, economically, socially, politically, and just personally. I witnessed that upheaval just like my protagonist, the FBI agent, does, and I saw what it meant for people. The story is more than a standard thriller, it's a literary thriller. And by that I mean, while it has a strong plot and a lot of action, it also portrays what the events in the times meant to people. How did they cope with their collective hangover from communism? That's the question that motivated me to write The Fourth Courier.